This is the PIJN News Update with Dr. Chaps. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps. Our next story comes from the Times of Israel, who reports, some European nations who hate Jews, reminiscent of Nazi Germany from World War II, who also hated Jews, are now threatening sanctions against Israel if they dare to annex or even have any kind of governance over their own territory in Judea and Samaria, the West Bank. For example, Belgium has threatened sanctions, one of the first of the European states to threaten to stop doing business with Israel and boycott if Israel continues to govern its own territory. Times of Israel says the Belgian parliament last Friday passed an overwhelming majority resolution, not a law, but a resolution, a symbolic gesture, urging the government to act to prevent Israel from unilaterally annexing parts of the West Bank and to actively advocate for European-wide punitive measures against Jerusalem if it proceeds with its controversial plan. The Chamber of Representatives in Brussels was originally also scheduled to discuss and vote on a motion calling for the recognition of a Palestinian state. But this was postponed due to last minute amendments. The resolution as it passed now concerns Israel's annexation of so-called occupied territories in Palestine. Well, there is no Palestine yet. It's not legally been declared ever in history. But the European resolution proposed by three politicians from the Green Party passed with a 101 yes to 39 abstention vote. No one voted no, even the 39 politicians who support Israel just abstain from the vote because they don't want to be accused of loving Jews, my gosh. Uh, you know, these anti-Semitic European ministers ought to be ashamed and they ought to ha hang their head. That's just my comment. But the motion urged the governor, uh, the government of Prime Minister Sophie Wilmes, quote, to take the initiative with third countries as European, at European multilateral levels to prevent the annexation by Israel of the Palestinian territories or parts of them, end quote. So not just Belgium, they want all of Europe to stand against the Jews and they're leading the cause. The resolution further called on Brussels to play a leading role in formulating a quote, list of efficient countermeasures geared at responding in a proportional manner to any Israeli annexation of occupied Palestinian territory, end quote. In other words, economic sanctions against Israel for doing the right thing. The European Union and many of its member states vehemently oppose Israel's declared goal to annex just 30% of Judea and Samaria as early as July 1st of this year but have not yet formulated any punitive measures against Jerusalem if it were implementing its plan. The EU requires consensus, by the way, of all 27 member states to apply significant sanctions on Israel. But some countries such as Hungary and Austria are widely expected to veto any harsh measures against the Jewish state. Thankfully, Hungary and Austria still support Israel. Israel's ambassador to Belgium told the Times of Israel last Friday saying, quote, instead of applying undue pressure on Israel, Belgium should encourage the Palestinians to cease with their persistent refusal and return to negotiations, end quote. Well, there's an understatement. Palestinians have traditionally engaged in terrorism instead of negotiation, and now they're being urged to come back to the table. In the preamble of the resolution, the bill twice referred to former Israeli officials having warned against Israel becoming an apartheid state in case of annexation. A senior White House official, however, of course, the Trump administration supports Israel, last Thursday said the Trump administration had not made any final decision in the round of talks about whether to back Israel's annexation plans Jerusalem is highly unlikely to move forward without American approval. And that's the report from the Times of Israel. 
Our thanks to Times of Israel for that report. Again, President Trump has not yet made a public announcement about his current plan of whether to support the annexation, but that's why the seven US senators that we've been petitioning have written to the president and now your voice is being heard in Washington DC in support of Israel. That's why we urge you to please sign petitions when you visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. They are free, you can sign up. They're, just look along the top row of buttons, there's one that says Israel. You click on that, you can sign the petition and, and we will deliver those in such a way that it influences the way we've already been doing. Seven US senators have now heard from you, petition the president. Israel will go forward with this if they hear from President Trump that he approves. You can make history. In fact, that's what we should be praying for right now. The Bible says this in Joel chapter three, that God promised the prophet Joel that he will gather all nations, God said, and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and there he will enter into judgment with them. There, on account of my people, well, who's he talking about? My heritage Israel, whom they, the United Nations, have scattered among the nations and divided up God's land, end quote. So we don't wanna divide up God's land, we wanna support Israel as, uh, we pray that everyone else will too, let's pray. Father, we pray that the European Union will repent of their Jew hatred, they will repent of their anti-Israel sentiments, that they will support Prime Minister Netanyahu, that they will support a security plan which protects the Jews who have been settling in Judea and Samaria now, uh, at least for the last generation, but going back thousands of years to the beginning of the Bible. Father, we pray. That, that your original vision and plan will be established in Israel and that we as, as the nation states of the world will go along with your plan. In Jesus name, amen. If you've watched our program, you know that we stand with Israel as God's chosen people. We need you to sign a petition today, why? Because did you know that even as Iran is now developing 800 mile range cruise missiles, could be nuclear tip very soon, that our US Congress has now three brand new freshman congresswomen, we call them the three anti-Semitic musketeers, Ocasio-Cortez and two Muslims, Talib and Omar. And they are influencing Nancy Pelosi to have the most anti-Semitic Congress in years. We need to stand with our friends in Israel and that's why we're asking you to sign a petition. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org. Don't divide Jerusalem, stand with Israel and stand up to the United Nations. We will fax it to the Congress, but you need to sign today. Take a stand, visit PrayInJesusName.org and sign our petition today. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.